So guys, hopefully you remember this is Brett's awesome little Sierra that he got for a pretty good steal. But it's slightly changed. The first giveaway is there. And then if you look under here. It's missing a few things. Yeah, she's... Yeah, she's missing a bit. So, give us a rundown on what the fuck you are doing, Brett. Well. Because I'm, I'm actually still confused myself. All right, so I bought this and I drove it and as, as you saw, I'm right in the sun. As you saw, I blew up the uh, the gearbox in it. So I bought another gearbox, and I plan to put all that in. There's a yep. nice new clutch in there and everything. And then another car popped up. I thought, oh, he's got to have that. Got to have that. <laughs> so he, he chucked it up for four and a half. It was um, a '92 model wide track. Yeah. I talked him down. I got it for free. Took it home the next night. And uh, yeah, started stripping this. Started stripping that one. It's pretty much, a, I was going to do a body swap, but I decided it was going to be too much effort because I didn't want to do the whole motor out, all that sort of crap. So yep. I ended up doing, uh, it's going to be a diff swap and the whole drive line, basically. Everything from the waist down is all upgrades, and uh, you'll see that pretty soon. As so where's, where's the other parts car hiding? Uh, Shall we go have a look? So here we have the parts car. Sierra number two. Yep. So this is a 92 wide track. Yep. The, the only difference really is that the, where the leaves mount to the chassis is offset 35 mil, where the narrow track is directly under the chassis. There's yeah, a few so other you little, can see that there. There's a few bits so and pieces. So I understand you got a bit of a rude surprise when you went to yeah, body well, swap. I can give you the photos. I had this car up, the whole front, whole front axle diff everything everything out ready to go everything off that car ready to go yep i rolled this up there put it under and nothing lined up because <laughs> i've only no, just, that's always the way this is the first time i've worked on sierras i know nothing about them so yep i'm learning with everything i do so what have we got goody wise on this i can see a air locker on the front yeah so straight away just in here we got um we got vitara vented uh, rotors up the front, so upgraded yep. brakes. We got Pretty shock hoops from a uh, long range off road. Yep. Welded on. So you need to cut them off and yep. weld them they're on gonna yours. Have to be cut off and welded. Yep. We got um. We got some stainless braided lines. That's very sexual. Yeah, that's quite nice. Uh, what else we got? New brake bars. I mean, you, the chassis itself is just in much better condition. Yeah, got it is new, actually. New shackles, new suspension. Shackle brother. Everything's ready to go. Front, both like all all the hubs are full rebuilt. The diffs are rebuilt. We got ARB yeah. air lockers front and rear. So ARB, the fucking I mean, expensive that's, good that's shit. That's two and a half grand right there. So yeah. the cars cost me five hundred bucks so far because all this shit was on my list. Man, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. This guy always gets a bargain. <laughs> like with the old STI six speed. Yeah, that was what. Three grand, the entire drive line. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that for mine soon. I think. Oh yeah. We got. Not that I'm looking forward to it, but we got a transfer case here. That's got um about a thousand dollars worth of uh, reduction gears in it. Thousand bucks worth of transfers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got a a disc brake on the drum. Oh well, instead of the drum. Yeah. So that that's a fucking heaps better already. Extra boss mode. Yeah, you can see the disc brake on the shaft. Yeah. You can see there. Obviously it came with another spare gearbox, which is in good. So here. which gearbox is which? So this is my nice fresh rebuilt gearbox. Yeah. So that's nice and tweet. Yeah, nice and tweet. Except for this little breather. I'm gonna have to put a yeah, just put a straw in that. Yes, the straw in the clamp. <laughs> No, uh, yeah. And what's this one? A Sperry? That's yeah, it'd just be a Sperry sitting in the shed. Yeah. It's got a sl really so slight leak. Is this a Sierra or a no, that, Swift? That's a Sierra. All the drive on Sierra. Clutch is Sierra. It's just the engine Swift. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? We got oh these hectic wheels. Sixteen hundred bucks worth of wheels alone. Yeah, that's sick. And then thirty-one. Thirty-one. 
What you got? Oh, they're a bit warm, isn't it? Uh, Rancho, fully adjustable RS 9000s. Hectic. Front and rear. We got the inboarding plate for the shocks. So instead of running straight up and down, you can put longer shocks on and run them on an angle. Oh, right. Because these, these shocks are like. That's gnarly, man. They're huge. We got a door. You got a door, you got a gym. We got a grill. Everyone loves a grill. Get them grills in your grill. We got your GDI Swift seats. Yeah, so Brett likes to drive facing backwards. Yeah, well, it's for hunting. <laughs> we got a spare. Same thing, American Eagle alloys. Mint. Oh, little nice. compressor. That's the compressor, yeah. yeah. Be. It's a little baby, isn't it? Yeah, locker. Is that purely just for the locker, or yeah, can you just a locker. bring that up to a tank as well? Oh, I don't know if you, it's so It's small. pretty small. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it takes much pressure to lock a diff. Yeah. Uh, Timing belts and all that shit to go yeah. on. Also got the soft top is actually in decent condition. Yeah, so that doesn't look too on. bad at all. Coming under here. Into my den. So, you can't see it, but we got chrome, chrome all the axles in there. Rebuilt. Um, diffs like full refurbished with the air lockers in it. Yep. More new shackles, new bushes, everything's been rebuilt. Uh, got the disc brakes on the back, so they're just Sierra front brakes. Yeah, it's probably so what, they're normally drums? Yeah, they're normally drums. Yeah. And my, mine was just pissing fluid everywhere. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, it definitely looks like you got yourself a bargain here, Brett. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking there's at least probably five or six thousand worth of upgrades yeah at, at least, least. Yeah. everything i was going to buy regardless so yeah i got the whole car for you know what a tenth of well not a tenth bloody third of what i was going to buy yeah hey, mate you even got a uh, old school mobile phone holder yeah it is maxi bonded on <laughs> how do you beat that that's not bad at all <laughs> australia oh yeah that's how yeah so it obviously didn't look like this when i bought it no. This is the um, end result. <laughs> yes, that's what I was going to say. Stripping it down. That'll you don't have a bull bar in the other one, do you? Yeah, I do, but it's cut down. So it's a that's really, right, it's a really yeah. similar style, but he's chopped all this shit off. I don't know why it looks good like that. Yeah. But that's a couple of hundred bucks. Yeah. So the bonnet looks yeah, pretty bonnet's, bonnet's ding free. Good. Bit of a and shitty paint job, but... Yeah. So the windscreen, because everyone says when you roll, there goes your windscreen, so yep. I'm keeping that. I'll be keeping the little... So you are planning on rolling a few times then? Or yeah, at least once? Well. Everyone that has a Zook rolls it. At least once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much just the whole front. Uh, new guards. Yeah, spare guards. Spare front. Sick. Spare everything and sell the rest. So, what's your ETA? <sighs> or ETC, I should say. Hopefully by New Year's. So like, what's that, less than yeah. 30 days. The main thing, so, so the biggest dilemma. Hmm. I think it looks worse than it is. But. Yeah. And these spring perches on this wide track, because they're actually spaced out to suit like the wide track chassis, obviously. I have to, I bought new ones of these, new spring perches. Yeah, so you've got to weld them on. They have to be welded on about 35 mil. I'll yeah. get a proper measurement. So will they, will they work because that tapers out? That yeah, so that, I have to grind that out of the spring perch. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, that's all accounted for. So they're just like a generic kind of spring perch? Or? Well, they actually offer like an early 80s Jeep. They just happen to be the same two and a half inch spring. Oh. Ah, uh, sorry, two and a half inch axle tube, two inch spring. So, yeah. Oh, thanks to the person who figured that out. Yeah, me. <laughs> Oh, you figured it out? I went on eBay and just kept looking for spring Bullshit. perches. Yeah. Nice. High five, man. That's bloody um, eBay for you. This, guy, he's, this guy's good. Yeah. He's not bad. He does his research. So I reckon it'll be an absolute monster once it's done. And then turbo later. Maybe. Actually, it came with a... Oh, yeah. You got more <laughs> motors. <laughs> There's more. So it came with a 1.6 uh, out of a Vitara, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The whole block's been cleaned up. Um, what else we got? We got your one point three. Came with a one point three block, two one point three heads off the GDI Swift. Uh, full wiring loom for the one point six swap. So it is. It is kind of shouting out to be boosted. 
It's screaming for a 1.6 GDI head yeah. turbo monster. <laughs> I don't I don't think there's any way this thing won't go. Twin locked. Reduction gears. Maybe the drag strip. Yeah, I think a drag strip would be too good for it. <laughs> but I'm keen to get some footage out in the bush. Yeah. Me too. Me too.